Okay, so let's get started. Uh, thank you very much for taking out time and joining me in today's session. Uh, my name is Roshan. Uh, I'll be your host for today's session. Today is uh, the session four of our Windows Virtual Desktop series. Uh, we had planned for four sessions and hence today is the last one. Uh, we would hopefully come out with uh, more uh, such series in the future, uh, but we will keep you posted as and when we create the material and have the labs ready for it. Uh, before I continue, uh, I just wanted to make sure if you're able to uh, see the screen and hear me OK. Uh, Kim, if you can confirm if you're able to hear me and uh, see the slides. Yes, I can see the slides. Looks good and we can hear you perfectly. Thanks. Thank you very much. So let's get started. Uh, as always, uh, kindly uh, be on mute throughout the session so that we have uh, minimal background noises. Uh, post your questions on the team chat and uh, we will go ahead and answer the questions uh, as soon as possible or towards the end of the session. Today's session uh, is a fairly uh, different session that we have done in our entire series. Uh, today we will uh, probably not even log on to our Azure portal. We will be looking at a new Azure IT automation tool called as Nerdio. Uh, this is a company uh, which has been working with MSPs for quite some time. It's a US based company and they've developed a very specialized tool uh, for management of Azure and specifically they have a module that does Windows Virtual Desktop. So we'll uh, look into this particular tool, run through the various options that are available. Uh, it may not be a very deep dive session, but you should get uh, most of the information about the tool, the advantages of using the tool and how it makes uh, a life of a MSP much more easier. So the agenda, uh, we'll quickly look at what are the... Can you just um, minimize the um, box there, the, the pop-up box? Sure. So uh, to begin with, we'll look at what agenda, uh, what are the challenges that a typical MSP faces and how does uh, Azure or Nodio for Azure actually help him uh, fix these challenges. We we'll look at some use cases and how to get started. Uh, we we'll look at the overall architecture of this particular software or the particular automation platform uh, and features of it. Uh, they also have a partner program uh, where once you buy the Nerdio tool from Ingram Micro, you are also eligible uh, for the benefits of becoming an, a, a Nerdio partner. And then we'll look at the demonstration of this particular tool. So what are the typical challenges? And I'm, I'm sure most of you uh, would resonate with these challenges. When you speak to customers about moving their infrastructure to Azure, uh, the first thing that they say is, hey, it is expensive because it's recurring cost. Um, I have to uh, make sure my internet is always up and running. All the users connect to it. Uh, the prices keep changing. So uh, a, a normal uh, consensus that we get, uh, a typical consensus that we get customers saying that Azure is expensive, right? And the same holds true for MSP as well. Even for an, a, a typical MSP has been doing server storage, networking, building up on-premise data centers, even for him to ramp up on a technology like Azure, which keeps changing. They bring in so many new features day in, day out. It is very difficult to hire people with uh, knowledge uh, who are always uh, keeping up to date with the technology. So uh, expensive both in terms of um, capacity or building a BOQ uh, is what they think uh, is expensive about cloud uh, or specifically infrastructure as service in cloud and keeping up to date with respect to the technology changes, the new enhancement that it is bringing. Now, since such so many new enhancements are coming up in the cloud, it also becomes complex, right? Uh, there are so many different variants, variant features that you could potentially introduce into your infrastructure in cloud. Uh, just as simple as network, right? You have load balances, your application gateway, your traffic manager, your content delivery network, you have network security groups, firewalls, and the list goes on, right? So it's very important to even understand and make sure that you're not utilizing too many resources and unnecessarily complicating your infrastructure. So a lot of MSPs think that 
moving to cloud and implementing things on cloud is not just expensive. It is also very complicated. It is not the typical Cisco firewall or a Dell Sony firewall that you are used to using. There are so many new next generation firewalls which are cloud oriented, which are built for cloud that they'll have to learn, understand and implement. And sometimes these things get complicated. And the last concern that MSPs have is risky. Now this is a recurring business. It's not a $1 million business that you get once a year or once a month. It's a recurring business. So you have to make sure that you consider the consumptions. You, you want to make sure that the customer is using the right resources. He's neither overusing nor underutilizing it, right? So uh, it's, it's a complete different uh, way of uh, looking into how uh, cloud business fits in, in, in the business for MSPs. And uh, whenever I've spoken to MSPs who are now transitioning to cloud uh, or having customers asking them about how they can plan for cloud, these are the top three challenges that they always come back to us. Expensive, complex and risky. Now let's see how uh, Ingram uh, along with Nerdio and Azure can actually help MSPs overcome these challenges and make it a much profitable business. So what do MSPs actually need? They need IT in a box, right? A simple package solution where it is easy to package it uh, depending on the customer requirement. Uh, they might uh, come out with different pricing, uh, pricing and packaging solutions, which uh, is very easy to deploy, easy to manage and um, easy to optimize. This is a typical uh, perfect solution that uh, an MSP uh, craves for. Uh, having uh, been working in uh, in this industry for quite some time, building out packages and selling uh, customized packages to customers is probably been the most effective way of selling uh, and, and the most profitable way of selling uh, cloud solutions that I've seen. So let's see how can we build IT in a box package, which is easy to deploy, easy to manage, and easy to scale and optimize uh, with a few clicks. So what is Nerdio for Azure? Now, this is the simplest explanation I can come out with. Nerdio for Azure is a Azure resource automation toolkit with graphical user interface. Right, that is very important because as soon as you hear the word automation, you think of DevOps and scripts and Kubernetes and, and all these things. But Nerdio does automation, but by you clicking a couple of things. So it does automation in the background and you don't need to run any scripts. You don't need to uh, open up your PowerShell and uh, do some uh, commands and send out some commands. It's all automation in the background when you select certain options in the user interface. So Nerdio provides deployment, it provides management, and it provides optimization. So these are the three critical pieces that an MSP requires in order to deliver IT as a service, right? So he, it should be easy to deploy. Once it is deployed, it should be easy to manage. And every customer uh, is looking to make sure that his infrastructure is running based on best practices uh, and he is not overpaying. So it is very important to optimize what you're running in cloud infrastructure because in cloud uh, you pay as you consume. So you definitely do not want to consume more than required and hence optimization is a very critical piece and Nerdio for Azure helps you optimize your infrastructure as well. So in the further coming slides, you'll see, uh, and especially in the demo, how easy it is to deploy, uh, manage, and optimize an entire Azure infrastructure, not just Windows Virtual Desktop, an entire Azure infrastructure with Nerdio for Azure. So Nerdio for Azure makes Microsoft Azure very simple and easy for uh, MSPs to use and deploy. Uh, it basically helps you grow your Azure business uh, in a much more uh, easier and precise fashion. Um, you can basically set up an entire IT infrastructure for small, medium or even large enterprises in a matter of hours. And you don't need a specialized engineer who understands everything about Azure to actually help you set it up. It takes three clicks or less 
to set up an infrastructure. You can manage multiple customers infrastructure from a single plane of glass and it is all automated, right? So it makes it very, very simple and easy uh, to not just deploy. The amount of time it takes to deploy is also drastically reduced. So uh, I have a quick video that talks about uh, Nerdio and its and its features and functionality and, and the whole story of how an MSP can actually use Nerdio. Uh, I'll run this video. Uh, hopefully you are able to hear it clearly. Uh, uh, when I share the presentation, I'll make sure the link of the video is also uh, sent to you separately so that you can watch it at a later time as well. So let me go ahead and play this video. Oh, we can't hear anything. Oh, you're not able to hear anything? No, we can't hear anything. So maybe start again and check on the volume. Yeah. Try again. Nope, still can't hear anything. Uh, click on the link in Teams to share um, the system sounds, maybe. Okay. Uh, anyway, so what I'll do is uh, I'll probably share. Um, share the link, yeah. Yeah, I'll probably share the link of the video towards the end of the session. So what the video actually explains is how an MSP actually uh, uh, is, is facing the challenges now, how uh, he finds out Nerdio and how it actually helps him set up the entire IT infrastructure. So it's a very uh, introductory video um, that will uh, definitely help you set the context of what Nerdio for Azure is and how uh, effectively it can help. Uh, it's a two minute video. I'm sure uh, you can you can watch it uh, at, at a later stage, but uh, let me move on to the next slide. So what are the typical use cases for uh, Nerdio for Azure, right? So it, in broad, uh, these are the out of the box packages that Nerdio for Azure um, has by default, right? Uh, you can definitely create your own customized packages as well, uh, but keeping the broad customer segment into, into mind, they have come out with infrastructure as a service package, desktop as a service package, and IT as a service package. So infrastructure as a service package is your typical uh, infrastructure deployment. Right, it can be servers, backup, storage, networking, disaster recovery. So, uh, if your customers want to move uh, a bunch of their on-prem servers, physical or virtual, to Azure, Nerdio for Azure can still help you do that. It it can help you uh, build your infrastructure and manage and optimize that infrastructure once your applications are moved to Azure. It offers uh, desktop as a service functionality. Right, DAAS is, stands for desktop as a service. So this is again suitable for small to medium sized business uh, who want to quickly fire up uh, a VDI or an RDS infrastructure on Azure uh, with the right security uh, in place. Right, it's a templatized uh, deployment. Uh, the the backend virtual machines, the number of users, these are all predefined. So if your customers fit that particular predefined template, then you can just select the template hit submit and it just fires up the entire infrastructure, creates it and you get the result uh, once it is created. IT as a service. Now this is probably the, the most used package that I've seen uh, in Nerdio uh, where you get a lot of customization options, right? So you can select um, desktop as a service. So you can say I need 5, 10, 20, 100 uh, Windows virtual desktop uh, machines. Uh, I need it pooled. I need it personal desktops. I also want to add a virtual machine for my SQL server. Uh, so you can combine multiple components when it comes to IT as a service. It also has a small module for Office 365 as well. So it can potentially not only manage your Azure, it can also help you manage and onboard customers for Office 365. Uh, think of a scenario where Nerdio for Azure is deployed for a customer and a new employee joins. 
right? So when a new employee joins, he definitely needs an Office 365 license. He needs a virtual uh, machine. I'm sorry, a, a virtual desktop. So within Nerdio, when you add a new user, you can uh, check Office 365, you can check pool desktops or personal desktop. You can check the configuration and hit submit and all the infrastructure that is uh, required from him, the productivity suite and the virtual desktop gets created. Uh, you'll see, uh, you'll see, I'll, I'll show you that in the in the demonstration, but that is uh, how powerful Nerdio is. So how do you get started? So all you need is three simple things. You need an Office 365 or an M365 account. Uh, you need an Azure Active Azure subscription and you need general IT administration knowledge, right? So you should know what a server is, what a user is, how Office 365 at a very high level works, um, how do you connect to Azure? So things like this, right? You don't need to be an expert um, in infrastructure as a service or you don't need to be an Office 365 a security admin or an enterprise admin. So basic knowledge on these three should be should be good enough for you to get started for for deploying an IT infrastructure, a modern IT infrastructure for your customer. So this is the architecture of Nerdio, right? So uh, as, as, as we see that uh, the backup servers, Office 365 and security. So uh, around the desktop, the various features that you see are all already provided by Microsoft. Where Nerdio comes into place is the center management and optimization fee, uh, piece, right? So uh, platform such as Azure can host desktops, can provide you server storage, can provide you Office 365, can provide you backup and disaster recovery. So all these features are already available as part of the platform. It also gives you options of migration. It, it also gives you options of running a line of business applications. But the piece which was missing so far uh, for MSPs was, okay, I know Microsoft Cloud gives me these features. I know that I have to do migration, but how do I pri uh, price and package my offering? How do I deploy and manage both my customers and what they're using? So this was the missing piece um, and Nerdio uh, actually introduced this management layer. So Nerdio actually uh, does most of the management aspects of your entire business. So it is not replacing Azure, it is not replacing Office 365, and neither it is replacing your professional services or your managed services. It is just giving you an easier way of doing your professional services and managed services for your customer. It is providing you a platform, a toolkit, using which you can do your services much more faster and much more easier. So let's look at some of the features that uh, Nerdio for Azure provides, right? So Nerdio for Azure can be used uh, by an inexperienced uh, or, or a little bit of experienced Azure engineer. He should know how to log into Azure, how do you check a couple of things, but you don't need to be an expert in Azure. Uh, it can be customized for each environment. Uh, different customers, of course, come with their own needs and requirements. So. Uh, some customers might have one servers and 20 users. Some customers might have 50 users and five servers. So you can always customize Nerdio based on how and where do you want it to add and remove servers or users or applications. Uh, one of the best features, this is probably the, uh, this is the feature that I use probably every day is Nerdio cost estimator. Now I use Azure cost estimator or, or Azure calculator pretty much uh, on a regular basis, but when it comes to Windows Virtual Desktop uh, cost estimate, I always go ahead and use Nerdio Calculator, right? Because it is so easy and simple. I'll show you in the demonstration as well. Uh, it is simple, easy to understand. Uh, you plug in the values, it will give you cost per month, cost per user, uh, and the overall cost of the uh, Azure infrastructure for a month. So uh, it's very simple and easy. Uh, easy to use calculator. Now it's not as extensive as an Azure calculator. Now Azure calculator gives you options of every component that's there within the Azure umbrella. Uh, Nerdio for Azure, Nerdio calculator uh, is specifically designed for Windows Virtual Desktop and RDS kind of a deployment calculation, right? It, you cannot use it for everything else. Uh, 
as I said earlier, in terms of packages, Nerdio has three packages. Uh, infrastructure as a service, desktop as a service, and IT as a service. These are standard three packages that they have. Um, but you can always create and customize your own packages. So it also has something called Nodio Plans Designer, where uh, let's say uh, within your uh, customer base, you know that most of your customers are between uh, 5 to 20 user customer. So you can come up with four packages of your own, right? Five user package, 10 user package, 15 user package, and 20 user package. And whenever a customer, when you present to the customer, the customer is fine to go ahead with it. You just select the package and hit deploy, right? And it does all the backend, uh, 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 backend deployment of that. It allows you to manage not just users. It also has, as I said, a module for managing your mailboxes as well. So it is also integrated to some extent with your Office 365 or Microsoft 365 as well. So. Uh, when I show you the demo, you can see I can look at mailboxes, shared mailboxes. I can assign user licenses. So at a very high level, it does a little bit of Office 365 management. Of course, it doesn't go into managing your SharePoint and OneDrive and Teams. So it, it is not extensive into Azure. I'm sorry, it is not extensive into Office 365 or Microsoft 365. Uh, but um, for a typical onboarding of a customer, of a user within a customer, whatever is required, those components are available within Nerdio. And the best part is you can do all of this within, within one single console. So you don't have to log into Office 365 to onboard the user and then log into Azure to onboard the user, right? Uh, it's all taken care in a single location and uh, it, it just makes it much more easier and, and effective. Nerdio also provides a very intelligent auto scaling mechanism. Now, uh, if, if you have joined in my previous session where we actually spoke about load balancing and automation uh, within a WVD, you saw that it was not very straightforward, right? So you had to create an Azure automation account. Uh, you had to create an, a, a logic app. You had to, you had to create a, a run book. Uh, you have to run a lot of scripts for it. So it, it is not something very easy and simple to do yet. Uh, one of the biggest requirements that uh, that Microsoft and even I have received is how do I scale up and scale down my virtual desktops so that I can keep the cost in check, right? Uh, Nerdio for Azure does it very beautifully. I'll show you uh, how simple and easy you can configure the auto scaling functionality within Azure and uh, it also has a very special feature. Uh, auto scaling typically so far what we have seen is for pooled desktops, right? Where you have multiple uh, users connecting on to a single uh, big fat server. But what about the users who need personal desktops? For example, your CEO, your CIO, your CFO, or your IT admin. Uh, they, these are users who are heavy users. They, they work on several different application and it was always recommended that you give them a dedicated virtual machine. Now what happens when you give them a dedicated virtual machine is that you also need to monitor its utilization. You do not want it to run 24 cross 7 because uh, you, you just know that the CEO or the CIO might only work for 8, 10, 12 hours a day. You don't need to run it for the remaining 12 hours a day, right? So uh, there is within Azure, uh, so far we have not seen how can you uh, auto scale a personal desktop or a dedicated desktop. Nodio for Azure also has an automation option available that can also also help you define when do you scale up, scale down or when do you start and stop even the personal desktops as well. So all these things we will see uh, in a greater detail in the demo and uh, I'm sure uh, most of you would 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 like the protocol product. Now before we jump on to the demo, I also want to uh, bring into context where exactly does Nerdio fit in in the entire Azure migration landscape, right? So uh, does Nerdio for Azure do assessment? Answer is no, it does not do assessment. Uh, for assessment, we have uh, Azure Migrate. Uh, within Azure Migrate, there's actually uh, an ISV that, that actually offers free Windows virtual desktop assessment, right? So. Uh, for example, if you're running an on-prem RDS infrastructure and you want to first 
uh, get as much information as possible of that. How, how many users, uh, how much is the data churn rate or data change rate, um, how much network will I need? What is the recommended infrastructure in Azure? So if you want to do all this assessment, then uh, Azure Migrate actually has these options today as well. Now, once you you have done that assessment and you know, OK, these are the machines that I require in Azure. This is the prerequisites for my on prem. You then start uh, doing a cost estimate of what are the resources that I need in Azure. That is where Nerdio comes in, right? So it can definitely help you uh, derive a number or de derive a dollar value for your Azure consumption. It also helps you build and deploy the Azure components. So uh, things like uh, a hybrid uh, Active Directory connection, site to site VPN connection. Uh, it also helps you deploy virtual machines, deploy, uh, deploy Windows virtual desktop. So whatever components that you would require on the Azure side, it actually helps you deploy it. And it also helps you connect or extend your on-prem infrastructure. Like I said, it helps you with uh, syncing your on-prem Active Directory to Azure Active Directory. It helps you with your site-to-site -site VPN. So every component that is required to make sure your Windows Virtual Desktop is able to connect to your on-prem Active Directory or for that matter, your printers and scanners, all those components are available within Nerdio. It is not just doing uh, Azure WVD components, it also does these uh, hybrid uh, components such as connecting to your on-prem network. Now, once these are ready, then you have to migrate the data, right? It can be a file server data, it can be a SQL server, uh, it can be using your user profile data if you want to move them. So you still have to use your traditional Azure uh, services. It can be Azure Migrate, Azure Site Recovery, whatever or if you have a third party tool like veeam that you want to use you still have to use some tools that you migrate the data right and then once it's migrated once all the data is there on azure it is all up and running uh, then you have to optimize it right now you might have created a, a, a 5 tb storage but uh, you only ended up using two terabyte now you don't necessarily need the extra three terabytes because in azure storage can grow dynamically Right. So uh, there are ways and means where you can optimize. You can even scale down your server resources at a, over a period of time. If you see that you actually don't need a, a big fat server for the resource consumption that users are going through, you can also reduce down. So it gives you various ways of um, reducing, increasing or auto scaling your uh, your uh, your resources. And it also provides you management of not just WVD components, but also other components. Like I spoke, uh, uh, it, it offers you Office 365 management. It offers you uh, hybrid connectivity management. So all these are available within Nerdio. And at the end, in terms of billing, uh, for billing, you would use the Ingram Micro Cloud Marketplace, right? Uh, Ingram Micro, uh, Nerdio for Azure is already available in Ingram Micro Cloud Marketplace. I think we were probably the first distributor across Australia and New Zealand to onboard Nerdio. Uh, we have them running in our US marketplace for a, a little over a year now, uh, and we have seen a lot of success in Australia as well. Uh, uh, you can straight away provision Nerdio for Azure from a marketplace like you have how you purchase Azure or Office 365. And the good part is when you actually provision Nerdio, it starts off in a typical Azure cost model. So when you create Nerdio for Azure, there's no cost. It actually is zero. Uh, when you start connecting to your Azure and when you start creating users and, and services um, on, on Azure via Nerdio, that is when the cost starts, right? And this is a tool for partners. You don't need to give this tool for your customers. So uh, you don't need to inform customers that you're actually using Nerdio for Azure to do your entire deployment, right? So uh, it, these are the tools for MSPs, for, for partners, which you can use uh, for uh, deployment, you can also uh, use these tools. It also has uh, a secure score a module where it actually shows you how good is your security that you have implemented for your customer. So it can also help you drive your managed services as well. So it can be managed security services, managed support services. All these um, uh, additional revenue generation streams can be uh, made possible through Nerdio. Now quickly touching upon the partner program. So 
Uh, Nerdio uh, is is a very partner focused. It's a very channel driven company. So they uh, similarly how I'm doing webinars, they keep doing uh, sessions and webinars uh, uh, pretty much on a weekly basis. And they have a very exhaustive uh, blog site uh, knowledge base where you can get every piece of information that you need about Nerdio. Uh, it's uh, it provides you a centralized management platform. You'll see that in in some time. Uh, there's a uh, real time support that they provide. They work. Uh, they, they're very quick and uh, fast, uh, fast in terms of their support. Uh, you can contact them via email, via chat. Uh, they're very, very uh, quick and most of the people whom you are in touch with, these are certified Azure and knowledgeable uh, uh, support users, right? So these are not tier one users or, or L1 support, support guys. As soon as, as soon as you teach a support person from Nerdio, uh, uh, he will help you fix the issue. Uh, it is uh, an MSP tool, which means that you can white label your entire uh, Nerdio platform. Right, even for your own use. So I've done some basic uh, uh, branding for the demo today uh, where you'll see I can change the logo, the theme and the wordings, the color, uh, 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 the color choices. So we can change all these things. Uh, it, it, you also get a dedicated uh, partner account manager to build your Azure practice. So uh, if you if we see that you have more and more customers onboarded onto Azure, onto Nerdio, and you have a very healthy pipeline, then uh, both from Ingram and from Nerdio, you get a dedicated account manager, right? Or a partner manager that can actually help you uh, uh, both with uh, making sure you're getting the right support and also give you uh, help in terms of strategizing and pitching to the customers and how you can use it. Uh, this is probably the most unique piece. The last one leads. Uh, Nerdio for Azure or Nerdio as a company provides leads of customers who want to use Nerdio. Uh, I'm sure customers have also heard about this particular tool. It's, it's been one of the, I would say, uh, famous tools, especially for Windows Virtual Desktop. And there are a lot of visitors that go on to Nerdio or they actually give call to Nerdio saying, how can I use it? How do I purchase it? Can somebody help me deploy it? And what they do is they actually pass on these leads to partners who are actually successfully implementing Nerdio. We have been receiving these leads for quite some time now, and we have been passing on these leads to partners who have successfully deployed uh, Nerdio for their customers, where we have got uh, very good feedback about the services and solutions that they are providing to their customers. So this is uh, a very, very unique uh, in terms of lead generation that comes directly from the vendor itself. So vendor it's himself supports uh, partner ecosystem. He wants partners to grow and decides to make a lot of uh, money and business. And uh, Nerdio is, is very much focused on making sure that you're able to get enough leads and enough pipeline for you to make a successful, profitable Azure business. OK, so that that was about the slides. Uh, so uh, quite a lot of slides in, in this particular session when we compare to the previous ones. But I just want to make sure that everybody understands what Nerdio for Azure is. So next for the demo, I'll just quickly jump on to my Nerdio site. Now, before I go to their management portal, I just want to go to their official website. The, so the official website is getnerdio.com. So uh, this is uh, Nerdio's website. You get information about what the company is, what they do, uh, testimonials and, and various features that uh, the product actually provides. Uh, you can also get in contact with them. Uh, you can go into details in terms of their knowledge base. So all those features uh, that that we see in the demonstration, you will be able to find out here. So a very helpful and useful site. And this is where the cost estimator link is also available. They do provide a free trial subscription as well. Now the cost estimator, I'll go into the details a, a slightly at a later stage of my demo once I show you uh, the, the platform. But uh, the, these are the various options that it has. Nerdio Academy is actually the place where they, they publish all their videos. Uh, it can be a general about Windows Virtual Desktop. Um, they do talk about a couple of other things that are coming up into the market like Lighthouse and how um, Lighthouse can be used for customers and, and what it is all about. So they do come out with very informative uh, uh, videos uh, and you can always 
uh, keep a track of it. Now, in order to get into the, the management platform itself, the URL is app.nerdio.net. And what I'll do is I'll just log in using my personal account here. And this is the very first screen that you see. So when you log in for the first time, you'll only see the Winhart uh, uh, company. Uh, this is the default, uh, uh, I would say, uh, customer that Nerdia gives so that you can click, you can check different things uh, within it and see how exactly it works. Uh, you can create NAP. NAP stands for Nerdio Admin Portal, right? Uh, so this is what NAP stands for. Now I have done some basic branding as i said i've changed the logo uh, i've logged in as an admin i can even add users to my admin portal uh, so that you can have different uh, users managing it it gives basic in uh, email uh, details about invoices and contact information it also helps you with the cost estimation so let me quickly show you uh, how the cost estimator works let's take a couple of examples and see how the cost costing estimator works for Nerdio. Just take a couple of seconds. OK. So uh, let's say you have a company, uh, a customer of 15 users. Sorry, 15 users. They are interested in a Windows Virtual Desktop. Now you speak with them, you, you find out that they don't really require dedicated desktops or graphics enabled desktop. Most of the users would be uh, cool desktops because they use all SaaS based application, right? So they are using Salesforce, they use Dropbox, they use Office 365, and they use Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, right? So most of their applications are SaaS based applications. So they are not very heavy users. So uh, by default, Nerdio always uh, creates an Active Directory, uh, a virtual machine with Active Directory, and a file server. Uh, which acts uh, uh, where, where your FS logic is actually storing your data. This is the default configuration of Nerdio. So when you deploy Nerdio, you get a VM with Active Directory, you get a VM which is acting as a file server. Okay, so you can specify the instance type. As you can see, all the virtual machine sizes are available here. Uh, we just choose the basic ones. Uh, Active Directory is not a very, very heavy application, right? So a B series machine should be sufficient. For file server as well, I've given a B series and I've given a terabyte of disk. Assuming my users will generate a lot of data with their Word Excel, so I want to have enough space for their user profile. Uh, Office 365. So would you be selling Office 365 or Microsoft 365 to them? Uh, you can say yes or no here. Uh, will you sell Windows 10 licenses? So if they are already a Microsoft 365 customer, then they are potentially can reuse the license. So in our scenario, let's consider that they are a Microsoft 365 customer. Now, Azure hybrid benefit, right? Now, what I've typically seen is if a customer doesn't have Windows Server uh, with software assurance, uh, and these are typically enterprise agreement customers, uh, the best price is when you subscribe or when you buy Windows Server under, uh, under CSP subscription model, right? Uh, you can always uh, say no here. So when you say no, what happens is, the virtual machine cost itself has the cost of your operating system. But when you select CSP subscription, you purchase the server operating system, uh, the server operating system for your Active Directory and file server, right? Uh, from, uh, from Ingram, and that will give you additional discount. Azure Hybrid Benefit gives you almost, if you combine that with reserved instance, gives you almost 70% discount. So I always recommend customers to use uh, CSP server subscriptions. Uh, you can select reserved instance, whether it is one year, three year, or no reserved instance. You can select in region backup, out of region DR, site to site VPN, Active Direct, I'm sorry, hybrid AD. As you can see, it, it gives you very detailed information and very easy to understand information, right? Now, when I scroll down, it also tells you, okay, what is your session host configuration? What would you like the session host configuration to be? So I'll select a four core. 32 GB machine uh, that will run 168 hours per week, which is 24 cross 7. Then uh, general recommendations. Bandwidth uh, will cost you $1.5 per month. 
uh, that's for a typical uh, light user. So I don't normally change it. Storage operations, I don't change it. Now here is where you can further customize. How many res how many users do you want a particular core to to handle? Do you want six users, four users, three users, or one user? So I typically again select four users per core. Uh, if they are light users, if they are heavy users, then I either choose three users three users for them. Uh, in our scenario, we do not have personal desktops, but if you do have, you can also select their pricing over here. I'll leave rest of them as default. These are discounts and pricing. Now, if I hit on view cost, as you can see, it says $60 per user. It gives me the Azure cost. It gives me the Nerdio cost, and it also gives me the total cost, right? Now, if I scroll down, and this is an end customer price. Right, so of course, as a partner, you'll get better pricing than this. Uh, if I scroll down, it shows you the breakdown of the resources, and if I scroll down, it shows you the breakdown of the Azure cost itself. Right, so it's a very, very simple and easy to use tool, uh, especially for Windows Virtual Desktop. I always use this for Windows Virtual Desktop. For other uh, scenarios of Azure, I always use the Azure Calculator. So a quick run through of how the calculator uh, is and how you can use it. It also provides you logs, information, and settings, so you can create your plans here. You can white label it, you can enhance security. So let me go back and log into one of the customers which I've created and see uh, how it actually is functioning. So this is one of the uh, customers that I have called Ingram Micro ANZ. It will just take a second to load it up. And for this customer, I have deployed a Windows Virtual Desktop infrastructure, right? I have five users, I have zero shared uh, mailboxes, I have 10 groups, eight servers, four domains. So it gives you a very good, uh, I would say, summary and also shortcuts. I can click any of these and go to them. It also gives you a quick information about the system architecture. So if I click on system architecture, this is how the system architecture is deployed. Right, so it has a file server, an IP address for it, an Active Directory. It has pooled desktops, which it is providing. Uh, it also has a site-to-site -site VPN that it can configure. So this is a reference architecture, and it has a personal desktop. So it gives you a very good information in terms of uh, in terms of the infrastructure that it has uh, picked up for you, and you can definitely use this for your project documentation as well. So let me go into the users and show you the various options which I get when I'm creating a user. So you can also experience uh, the onboarding of new users uh, and see the options that you get. OK, so these are my five users. Uh, I quickly get a snapshot of what the users are. So Andy gets a dedicated desktop. As you can see, he is a pooled user. He, this is the configuration of it and login is enabled. So let's say uh, uh, Andy is on vacation and I don't want him to access and manage my uh, Azure. Uh, I don't want him to log into Windows Virtual Desktop. All I can do is just click disable, right? So you can see various simple options are all available right here. All the remaining users are pool users. They're part of uh, this particular server. Uh, again, all the logins are enabled. You can see their email addresses, their usernames, um, and some of the other basic features, right? For that particular user, you can log into the desktop, reset his desktop, shut down. Or you can revert his desktop or profile, edit, replace the or archive the user. So all these options are available in less than three clicks, right? You can go to the user and see what operations you want to do. If I scroll down. Uh, these are my other users, which are part of my different domain. And these are the various management tasks that I have been doing. So everything is, is clearly displayed. So if I click add user. So I can give it a name. I can say. Uh, I'll back. So this is the domain here. All my domains will be displayed so I can create users for other domains as well. Mobile number, as you can see, I can even assign him an Office 365 or M365 license. If I say Office 365, currently I have E3, so it also displays what license I have. 
um, I'll say desktop for him. I need Windows Virtual Desktop. OK, now do I need him to have a pool desktop, just an application or dedicated desktop? Right? So I'll say pool desktop. Uh, the same pool. I have created a new pool, so I'll select the new pool for him. And then I scroll down. I can even go ahead and see what's the welcome email that he gets once he, the user gets created. So this is the email that he gets. Right? So welcome to Nerdio. This is my company logo, uh, the username and password, and it also gives him instructions in terms of how he has to log in, how he has to install the client, log in. So all these options are very clearly documented. And at the bottom, you have uh, the other branding details, right? So I can go ahead and change these details within the Nerdio uh, tool itself. So I'll go ahead and click Save so the user gets created. Right, so this is the default user. OK, so it takes uh, roughly about a um, couple of minutes, two to three minutes for the user to get created. So what it is doing in the background is it's creating the user in Nerdio. It is creating the user in my Azure Active Directory. And uh, if my Azure Active Directory is also syncing, it also takes care of the sync as well. Right, so it does a couple of things. And it is adding the user into my pooled uh, Windows Virtual Desktop. So a lot of activities. And as you saw, I had no PowerShell commands to use. It was as simple and straightforward. So let me go to the servers. I quickly want to run through the servers and the options that you see uh, in the server management as well. So it shows me my Active Directory. It shows me file server. It has also deployed an ADFS proxy. Uh, ADFS proxy is not mandatory. It provides single sign on for Office 365 and Microsoft 365 applications. So it's it's not a it's not a mandatory. Uh, I would say machine to deploy, but AD and file server are definitely mandatory. So from here I can see the specs of it, uh, the current uh, uh, consumption of it. Uh, it also shows me whether I can start at this manage IP or even auto scale this. So as you can see, very simple and easy to manage your servers. If I scroll down, I will see two of my uh, pools. Uh, both of them are pool desktop uh, scenarios, uh, different configurations. And here I can even manage the host auto scale and view all the details. Let me scroll down. And this is a very uh, interesting section that Nerdio has, right? So it has something called as a uh, golden desktop image uh, that it has. So most of my pooled desktops, they actually use the golden image from this particular virtual machine, right? Now, uh, in, a, in a typical IT infrastructure, customers keep adding and enhancing their applications which they use, they update it, uh, they uh, add service packs, or they can even uh, bring in a new software as well. And if you have implemented Windows Virtual Desktop, you should have image management easier, else it is a very tedious task because you have to go and update every single virtual desktop. Nerdio makes it so very easy to do it. So here, by default, this is the machine uh, which has the golden image. I can log into this machine, make the changes. So as you can see, right now it is powered on. I can log into this machine, generate a RDF, uh, RDP file. It gives me for 30 minutes, log into it, uh, update the applications, update or install new software. And once it is done, and once I power off and set it as golden image, the best part is I can go to any of my pool desktop and say update host, right? It is as simple as that. So I, once, once I go ahead and say update host here, it goes ahead and updates uh, all the hosts, all the virtual desktops with the latest golden image that I've just updated. Right, so image management makes it uh, image management within within Nerdio is so very simple and easy to use. And if you try to do this within Azure portal as of today, you'll have to use scripting. You'll have to uh, do a lot of configurations. Uh, hopefully in, in the future, Microsoft may bring this up in the portal itself, but well, uh, Nerdio is already having it. so. Why not use something that's already available? Now the same holds true for the other as well. Now, if you want to look at auto scale, so in the previous session, we went through so many scripts and tools. So if I say manage auto scale, as you can see, it's it gives me very simple options. There should be at least one host, no more than two hosts in the pool. 
and scaling logic, right? If uh, on an average, if my CPU utilization is above 65% for 15 minutes, then additional server should be added. If on an average, my CPU utilization is 40% or less for 15 minutes, then it should scale down. And after 6 p.m. every day, my resources should scale down, right? So, so very simple and easy options to do here. And it also sends out information for the users, right? Sorry for the interruption. So you can always customize this. You can say warning should be sent one hour ago or no warning. Uh, so all these options are very much available for you to use. And once it is deployed, uh, it, it is available for, for your auto scaling, right? So, so easy, so simple to, to go ahead and do auto scaling, image management, user onboarding. And I also quickly wanted to show you uh, the onboarding process, right? So you have domains, Active Directory, uh, import and export. You can even set up your own uh, VPN connections here. So uh, if you, uh, in my setup, I don't have the site-to-site -site VPN, but it also has options where you can enable site-to-site -site VPNs, can have your on-prem Active Directory sync with Azure Active Directory. All those options are available within the Nerdio uh, platform itself. So uh, in, in a way, you don't have to actually log into Azure portal itself to set up a Windows Virtual Desktop infrastructure. So turn it on and then you can start managing it. Uh, it also provides you security score. So this is uh, very unique uh, and something that you can use a lot uh, with your managed services. So it provides you a security score, right? So it says 85. It also lists down what are the things that you have not uh, implemented, right? So two-factor authentication, mobile number of the users, uh, automatic desktop locking in inactive in 15 minutes, two-factor authentication for Office 365. So it will display down all the things which you have done and which you have not done uh, in your environment. And it also gives you a score. So you're 85 out of 165, which is, which is still okay, but uh, you would definitely want to be as close to the maximum score possible so that you have the best uh, secure infrastructure. Uh, we also spoke about desktop auto scale. If you remember, uh, auto scaling of personal desktops, right, uh, or dedicated desktops. Uh, so that option is also available here. So you can define a profile of a user, and you can add those users into one of these profiles. If uh, the user needs to work 24 cross 7, then you add him into this particular profile. If the user works for a, typically like a support user that has to work over a weekend and slightly extend hours, then you put put him into productivity. If he's a normal uh, user of an organization, then he is usually eight to six kind of working scenario. So you can add them into these user profiles. And at these times, the desktops uh, either start and stop the pool, uh, the personal desktops start and stop at these at these timings. Right. So those options are also available. You can change the settings and you also have all the log information available as well. Right. So as you can see within a single portal, you have pretty much every option that is required to deploy, manage, optimize and even create your own packages with respect to uh, Azure. Right. So Nerdio, yes, it definitely has a dedicated module for Windows Virtual Desktop, but it can also help you uh, with your overall Azure business in terms of bringing in servers. Um, so currently we only looked at Nerdio for Azure in terms of uh, enterprise. So the three default packages, I'll quickly show you the three default packages which you get with Nerdio. So if I say add an NFA account, these are the three different packages, right? Nerdio core is infrastructure as a service. Nerdio NFA is desktop as a service and Nerdio Enterprise is IT as a service. So these are the three default uh, plans that Nerdio has, right? And here, if I say NFA professional, it is fewer for 25 users or less, and it is a very templatized uh, way of deploying it. You can select it. Nerdio Core is just for your normal virtual machine storage and networking way of managing a customer. So, uh, well, this is what I wanted to cover as part of the demonstration. Uh, let me go back to my slides. So the promotion is still active. Uh, if you have customers uh, who would like to implement Windows Virtual Desktop, uh, please do get in touch with me. We are already setting up 
uh, POC environment for several of our partners and they are already showing the POC to their customers uh, and, and making the benefit of this $1,000. Uh, so uh, POC doesn't take too much resources. You can potentially use this resources in your first month consumption as well. That's what I've seen after doing about seven to eight POC so far. So uh, I would encourage everyone to utilize this opportunity, speak to your customers and get back to us if you have any active opportunity. These are your point of contact uh, when you have any opportunity on any of the products that Ingram Micro Cloud is selling, including uh, Azure and Windows Virtual Desktop. Uh, so we have Sam who's based in Queensland. We have Susanna who's based in Sydney. Uh, we have Kim who's based in Melbourne and Fabiano who's based in Perth. So dedicated cloud BDMs who will get in, uh, who, will, who can help you with respect to credits, offers, and any assistance that you need from Ingram Micro. Well, uh, that is it for uh, my session and my Windows Virtual Desktop series. I hope it was helpful and informative. Uh, you'll receive a feedback uh, survey form uh, in the next couple of days. I would really appreciate if you could fill it. It will also have an option uh, where I'm, I'm planning for a couple of topics for the next series. Uh, I would like uh, for you guys to vote for the next series that you would like me to deliver on. Uh, and based on the feedback, I'll, I'll prepare and hopefully in the month of May or June, we can come out with another demo based hands on lab webinar series. So that is it from my side uh, for today's session. Thank you very much again for joining me. Uh, if you've attended all the four sessions, thank you. Thank you very much for taking your time and joining me to the session. Uh, you can always get in touch with me. My email address is roshan.yelburi at ingrammicro.com. And drop me an email for any Azure concerns or questions that you have, uh, and I'll be more than happy and glad to assist you. So now let's jump on to the questions and see what are the questions we have. Okay, so just give me a second. Let me start from the beginning. So Jeremy, the question, is it an end customer price or the partner price that you saw in the Nerdio calculator? It's the end customer price. So once it is built, what value does Nerdio add on? So as you saw, it is not just building your infrastructure, right? So you have to uh, auto scale your infrastructure. You have to, uh, you might need to add additional users. So it does you, it helps you with user management, uh, Office 365 management to some extent. Uh, you can do secure score management with, with Nerdio. So it is not just uh, a migration or a setup tool. It's 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 a long-term tool that, that you would end up using. Can you comment if Nerdio supports hybrid AD environments? The answer is yes, it definitely supports hybrid AD environments. So if you already have a customer who is already on Office 365 and using Azure Active Directory, Nerdio has options where it can reuse the existing Azure AD and help you set it up. What support resources does Ingram have to support WVD? So I'm not sure of the question, Jeremy, if you can elaborate that. I'll definitely send the link of the YouTube video in my follow-up email, uh, Paul. If you have already deployed WVD, can you have Nerdio manage it? Uh, Caleb, the answer is yes. Uh, you will have to uh, basically uh, uh, import uh, the configurations of your WVD into Nerdio. Uh, there are ways and means to do that as well. Yes, we have had a case where uh, the customer was already uh, using uh, WVD uh, using the traditional uh, Azure ways. 
uh, but then uh, he liked Nerdio and he wanted to start using Nerdio with it. So there are ways of how you can import it within Azure and I'm sorry, within Nerdio and, and manage it. Is IAM support trained in WBD? Answer is yes. Uh, we have different levels of support. Uh, it, it completely depends in terms of what level of uh, partner you are with Ingram Micro. Uh, there are different programs. Uh, if you have a very high consumption with Ingram Micro, you pretty much get in touch with uh, L3. If you're a small cut, small to medium size, then you go through the L1, L2, L3, but most of them are definitely uh, uh, have knowledge on pretty much most of the Azure basic uh, infrastructure. Okay, so those were all the questions that were part of uh, this particular session. Uh, thank you everybody for taking out time. Uh, have a great week and a great weekend ahead. Thank you very much and have a nice day.